Well, hello again, and welcome to Hey What's Next. Today we're revisiting some video I shot a few years ago when I built a simple solar system using a 100 watt solar panel, a tilt mounting bracket, cabling, and a power station from EcoFlow. Why solar, you may be asking? Well, it started with my sixth grade science fair project in the early 80s. Back then, I learned the basics of solar technology and created a system where I could shine a flashlight on a small solar cell to power a single LED. My interest in this technology pushed me to revisit that science fair experiment again. But instead of this, a flashlight, I'm going to use the power of the sun. And instead of an LED, I'm going to attempt to charge a laptop and power a stereo system. This is what's next. In this box we have a frame that's going to go onto the solar panel, right? And then um, we have some 20 foot cabling, MC4 cabling, that'll go into that adapter, that'll go into this EcoFlow, and hopefully start charging it. Okay, there's that. And if we open this up. And it's a box within a box. All right, this is a uh, Renogy. You can see right there. Um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, undo this one. And then we have our box of screws and there's our nuts. We have a set of instructions, and this is all of the pieces and the parts. All right, so these are going to be the pieces that allow it to change the angle. Um, all right, we've got this. So we basically have two of these and two of these. All right. Next step is to grab the solar panel. All right, so first off, it says that we need to do this. <clears throat> and then that comes up like that. All right, so we want to take these out. Uh, I see what this is. Okay, so let's do this. And there's this, and then there's this. Okay, there's that, and then we want this. All right. So what we're going to do before we put the rest of this together is we're just going to test this out. Is there enough clearance? Yeah, it looks like there is. Sweet! Okay, this should be about the same as before. Okay. One of these. Our next step is to get these guys, and then we're gonna take these upstairs. Right now, the goal is to get these connected to that, and then we're gonna route it to this window temporarily.
So one of the things that we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna use this to cut out and then seal up the window for now. We have all these extra pieces that came from the solar panel. So we're gonna to try to make sure, I think these are gonna work the best. So let's, uh, let's see if that works. We just need to cut right about here. 11 and a half, do another one here. And then we got plenty. So now we have the positive to the positive, negative to the negative. Snap this one in, there's that. It is 440 on July 3rd. So we're seeing that 67 uh, watts is being produced by the solar panel. 27 watts is roughly being used by the output. So currently right now, uh, 46 watts is being taken to the device, the EcoFlow, and 20 watts, again, being sent to the Evolve 3. So if I go ahead and let's just unplug this for right now. We are at 67 watts coming from the solar panel, and now nothing is being used by the output. It's showing a recharge time of 33 minutes. But we're at 100%. So right now, it's basically we are powering the laptop off from the sun. So the next step is to uh, hook up the stereo system that is in the next room. And let's power that. Okay, now you can see that we have a three-pronged uh, extension cord. And I am going to now go into the other room, my office, and we'll plug it in. And currently we have no draw, but we are plugged in. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn it on. We should start getting some draw from the speakers that are already turned on. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and turn on the mixer and the associated CD player. And we are now running the CD player, the speakers, and the mixer. And you again can see that we're using 20 watts from that. So again, the solar is doing most of this. And we're going to go ahead, because we're still at 100%. There we go. Pulling in 67 watts from the solar panel, and we're using 40 watts. So we're uh, minus 26, 25 watts that could be used for something else. And here's our stereo system running off of solar. It's just incredible. I'm amazed at how far this technology has progressed in the last couple of years. In future episodes, I plan to tinker some more with the topic of solar power. After shooting the video, uh, I made some minor upgrades to the setup you just saw. I now have a second solar panel. I reworked the placement of the cables so they're not going through the window anymore. I expanded the power station's capacity with another battery. And I built a second power station using a 12 volt 20 amp battery, an inverter, and a solar controller. A uh, goal of mine is to build a system with enough power for this studio or home office, whatever you want to call it, that houses all my gizmos and gadgets. But those are topics for another time. Well, that's a wrap for today's episode. If you enjoy what you saw, be sure to click the like button. And if you want this channel to appear in your video feed, please click that subscribe button below. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode of Hey, What's Next?